Hello dear friends. In this video, I will walk you through the complete functionality of kernel and show you how to use it for your business. Just a heads up, you can also do everything I'm showing you here on the mobile application. Here's a QR code you can scan to download it for free. Let's start with the registration process. Kernel has quite an easy sign up process. You can either log in with your Google account or your mobile. Whichever you choose, you will then be asked to verify your phone number with OTP. After that, as a new user, you will get a 14-day free trial. After verifying your phone number and grabbing your free trial, you can now choose to create the sales document you need. Kernel allows you to create and keep different document types in one space. You can create tax invoice, e-way bill, quotation or estimate, performa invoice, or delivery challenge. We click on the new document and then choose the type of document we want to create. Let's do one of them together, for example, a tax invoice. You start creating your invoice by setting the invoice details like payment date and payment method. Then you add a customer you want to bill, you can fill in the information of the new customer and also, import its data, entered in the past, with just one click. Keep in mind that the shipping information is by default set to the customer's billing address, but you can change it if you want. Let's say we're selling timber, adds timber as an item. Whatever new product you add to the invoice will automatically be saved by the system for you to reuse in future invoices. You can see here that the system has already done all the GST calculations. Lastly, you add details about the payment method. This section will not be shown here if you receive the payment in cash. Alternatively, you can input your UPI or bank details, which I will do here. And the invoice is ready. Here is what our fully GST compliant tax invoice looks like. One of the coolest things you can do is convert all these different types of documents into one another. This way, you don't have to create them all separately. Instead, you just click and convert. You can also generate an e-way bill with just one click. Additionally, you can print and download the invoice, send it to the customer, and do many other things. After creating a document, you'll want to go back to the main page. All your documents will appear here, this is where you'll manage them. You can filter them, register payments, control payment statuses, etc. Additionally, you also get some handy metrics about your business like. Overdue, is the sum of outstanding amounts that have yet to be paid on time. Revenue this month, this is how much you've earned during this month due in the next 7 days, here is how much you expect to earn during the next 7 days. Average payment time, this is an average of how long it takes you to receive payments from all customers in total. Let's move on to the e-way bill section. The main advantages of creating an e-way bill using kernel are its simplicity and speed. Let's walk through the steps of creating an e-way bill document with kernel. Delivery challenge and tax invoice are available as options in the document type section of the e-way bill. Firstly, let's figure out when each should be used when creating an e-way bill. When the item is delivered from your warehouse to your store, we use the delivery challenge to create an e-way bill. However, if the item is sold from the store, we deal with outward delivery sales and must issue a tax invoice. The following field to pay attention to is the transaction type. Here are four options. Let's discuss each so we know when we should use it. Let's start with regular. This occurs when the seller's billing and shipping addresses are the same. Moreover, the buyer's billing and shipping addresses are identical too. With bill to, ship to, we only use it when the buyer's billing and shipping addresses differ. In that case, where the seller's shipping and billing addresses are different, we should select the bill from, dispatch from option. Combination of two and three, is needed when both the seller and buyer have different billing and shipping addresses. For the supply type, we choose outward when creating a tax invoice and inward when generating a delivery challenge. The other fields are automatically generated. Let's move on to the next step, bill from. 
The information about your company is automatically generated too, but if you wish to make any changes, you can do so from here. We'll proceed to the build to section next. Just fill in a few fields, and the customer is added. Please ensure all information is entered correctly, paying particular attention to the GSTN address and PIN code. It is also possible to automatically complete information about already registered users with a single click using the functionality. Continuing, let's find out more about the item section. You can directly fill in the item details by clicking on an item in your list. An alternative method of adding an item is to use the HSN or SAC search bar. Following that, we move to the transportation details section. As in the previous case, it is essential to ensure that each field is filled out correctly. Transporter ID is same as GS10. Our next step is to fill out part B. Besides selecting the mode of your choice, you can also choose the type of vehicle you wish to purchase. Once you've filled in the mandatory fields, it's all done. E-Way Build Document is ready. Once you have submitted the document, a field will appear where you can enter your GSP portal credentials. Upon registering GSP, you will be able to enter the username and password on the E-Way Bill. This complete guide will teach you how to create a username and password by clicking on this link. The E-Way Bill document you just created will appear on a separate page. Here is what the eWay bill document looks like. You can download it or generate a tax invoice from eWay bill. It is also possible to generate an eWay bill directly from a tax invoice you have already created. All you need to do is fill in the transportation details. Other fields, such as the customer's information and the shipping address, will be generated automatically. Apart from managing your CRM, inventory and sales documentation in kernel, you can also keep track of your expenses. There are two advantages to tracking your expenses in kernel. This feature allows you to see the previous month's and current month's expenses. More specifically, it shows total expenses and the category where your biggest expenses were during the previous month and the current one. The purpose of this feature is to improve the way you record and compare your expenses from the previous month to the current month. By gathering expenses in one space, we simplify the process of organizing, managing, and controlling expenses for business owners. With a receipt attached, you can see more clearly what you bought and how much it cost. In addition, it helps companies provide accountants with all the information they need along with receipts. You can export all this information to Tally software by clicking here. This will make uploading receipts to Tally much faster and easier. From here, you can select the period you wish to view your expenses for. You can also sort expenses by category using this field. Let's create an expense together. Here, we indicate the expense date. In payment type, we select the kind of payment we want to make. In the expense category, you can choose the category to which your specific expense belongs. The following field to pay attention to is the tax type. Here are four options. Let's discuss each so we know when we should use them. Let's start with unregistered. This occurs if the client is not GST registered. Exempt indicates when there is a tax exemption for either the product or the customer. CGST and SGST are charged within a state transaction while IGST is levied between two state supply of goods or services. Additional information regarding expenses can also be added here if you wish. You can upload photos of the physical receipt by clicking here. Only three photos per expense are allowed. It's all done. The expense is added. Let's say you have a recurring client who makes the same monthly purchase. Instead of creating the same invoice monthly, you can automate it with Kernel's recurring invoices. The creation process is the same as in the case of a regular invoice. The only difference is that you'll have to set up a schedule. This tells the system when you want this invoice to be created and for how long. You can also allow the system to send the invoice to the customer automatically upon creation. Kernel also provides a basic CRM functionality. Here you can manage your existing customer base and add new ones. 
All the customer profiles created here can easily be added to your invoices or build straight from their profiles. Additionally, this space allows you to manage and store client information in an organized environment. Here you can add a customer. Just fill in a few fields, and the user is added. Alternatively, if you have a large customer base, you can import them with Excel from here. It's also good to know that you can search for customers by name. You can also create a product catalog and manage your inventory in kernel. You just click on the create button, fill in the details, add stock and done. You can now use this product in your sales documents. The amount you sell will automatically be deducted from the stock. You keep an eye on your cash flow and revenue here. Additionally, it's the most effective place to gain insight into your numbers. Each time you create a new invoice, these reports are automatically refreshed. Whether you are interested in analyzing your income per customer, look at your aged receivables or break down the monthly revenue. Here's everything you need, and it's ready to go. You can also export all this information in PDF or Excel for yourself or your accountant. Now let's talk about the settings section. Here you can manage your profile and company information. Profile information is like your login information and the companies you own. Remember that every profile and account can have multiple companies, and each company can have multiple users. Companies are spaces in which you create your documents. You can create as many companies as you want. On the company page, you can manage the company information that appears on your documents and banking and billing information. You can invite your coworkers and accountant to collaborate in the users section. You can either allow them just to view the information in your company or also be able to edit and create documents. That's it. We hope you enjoyed watching this video and that it gives you a better understanding of kernel software.